Yeah. <laughs> Tennessee. I, be, I better wear my hee-haw shirt. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Good morning, Jay. How you doing, man? What I missed the track last night. But I didn't yeah, get you. Hey, hey, Sybil. What's Good morning, that? darling. How are you? Hey, t- the irrepressible Paul Mooney. How you doing, man? What's up, brother? Um, listen, so I was—I didn't get a chance to talk to you after the Republican, the RNC. Uh, it was amazing. I, and everybody talks about Clint Eastwood, and they were saying he embarrassed the room. I don't know how you... He's quintessential uh, a Republican. He's old, white, rich, uh, out of touch, and talk to people that ain't even there. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was funny to watch Ann Romney try to outpour the black people. <laughs> like, we ain't on the ironing board. <laughs> after... <laughs> After, after our mothers ironed your clothes on it. That's really what happened. <laughs> and I was actually, I was actually, and then, uh, you know, of course, the Democrats, I think that's the best convention I've ever seen, DNC I've ever seen. So I, I, think, I think they did a spectacular job. And I tell you what, Michelle Obama, man, I'm going to have to send my wife to Michelle Obama classes. You know, that's what I'm <laughs> But it was funny because they had an argument yesterday. There was even there, even at the DNC there was controversy because they took God out of their platform, and people got all upset. Oh, they took God out of their platform. Now I don't know what God was, but in order for a black man to be president, he had to be somewhere in the area. Uh, and people act like just because you say God, you do His work. Like just because you say God, don't mean you're a Christian. That's just like buying a jersey and thinking you Tim Tebow. That just ain't. <laughs> still got it, right? He's still got it. And the thing that was amazing to me is uh, when you watch the Republican, uh, the RNC, you looked around and they had, it was more black people and Mexican people and gay people on stage than it was in the audience. So they had to keep it up there. So, and they kept changing Herman Cain's clothes to make it look like it was a lot of black people around. (laughs) 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 But, but, and the president, of, of course, uh, he bought it, but the the thing that is uh, most amazing to me is that uh, for for I think for the first time, uh, you know, people I heard a lot of things that they they didn't run away from the issues. They talked about every single one. They talked about the war. They talked about poverty. Of course, nothing will ever happen. But I'm st- <laughs> I'm still proud to vote for this president, man. It's it's a, it's an amazing thing. So I'm on my way to uh, Tennessee. Well, I have to pretend like I don't know any of this. I I think, can black people read in Tennessee? Is that possible? (laughs) Very well, yes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to keep, I don't want to get hung for being a runaway, so I'll pretend like I don't know anything. So so I'll see you guys next week. Y'all take it easy. Are you you wearing your hair? Uh, I still got it, Paul. That's all I know. I don't mess with it. It don't mess with me. Mine are called brother locks, like sister, uh, like simple sister locks. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> with that hair, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> they'll just think you, they'll just think you got out of the house for a minute. <laughs> Later, DL. All right, y'all take care, man. Here's your girl, Paul Mooney.